So, here if you go to the off bus principle that is off bus principle which is obeying n plus l rule when you go for n plus l rule there are some exceptions exceptions in writing electronic configuration of elements example example you take copper whose atomic number is 29 so you write 1 s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d9 3d9 this is the configuration so here 4 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 I'm circling all the orbitals to avoid confusion. Four S two, three D nine. What you are noticing here is actually first you are starting with one S atomic orbital, one S orbital. Then next two S, two P, three S, three P. After three P, we are supposed to fill the electrons in the three D orbital. But before that, we are filling the electrons in four S orbital. If you are filling the four s, if you are filling the electrons in four s orbital, then only we are trying to fill the remaining electrons in the three d orbital. That is because if you apply the n plus l rule, so apply n plus l rule. You apply the n plus l rule for both. That is three. Uh, that is for four uh, uh, s atomic orbital and three uh, d atomic orbital. For both these orbitals, if you apply the n plus l rule, here. Uh, n value is 4 and here s means l value is 0 s or s orbital means azimuthal quantum number value is 0 and here 3 means principal quantum number value is 3 and d means d means azimuthal quantum number value is 2 so therefore here applying the n plus l rule 4 plus 0 which is equal to 4 and here 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 so in which in whichever case the n plus l value is lesser in whichever case the n plus l value is lesser in that case we are going to fill the electrons first then only we go to that part of the uh, atomic orbital or that part of the orbital which has the highest n plus l value if you take the 4s atomic orbital you have the n plus l value as 4 only that is why after uh, 3p orbital then we are coming to the 4s orbital we are after 3p we are supposed to fill the electrons in 3d but we are filling the electrons in 4s we are filling the electrons in 4s then we are coming to 3d because here the n plus l value for the 4s orbital is lesser compared to the n plus l value for 3d which is 5 so therefore because of this exception we are able to notice that in the case of 4s orbital uh, the value is 4 and in 3d orbital the value is 5 that is why we can write the configuration as 3 3p6 4s2 then 3d9 but this configuration if you take actual expanded configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 3p6 4s2 3d9 this is unstable configuration unstable electronic configuration why it is unstable electronic configuration because in any atom for any element or atom when you are writing the electronic configuration either the electronic configuration should choose half filled electronic configuration or completely filled electronic configuration but here the electrons in the 3d orbital are incompletely filled they are incompletely filled because either the electrons in this 3d orbital should have five electrons or 10 electrons right now it has only nine electrons that's why you can transfer one of the electron from 4s to 3d you have to demote the electron from 4s to 3d so that it acquires stability so here you can take 1s2 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 because you are demoting the electron from the higher energy level to from lower energy level to higher energy level this is 3d 10 half filled and completely filled so therefore this is said to be extra stable electronic configuration always remember they always remember electronic configuration we prefer when you are writing the electronic configuration for any element the electronic configuration is preferred is preferred with the half filled half filled or completely
electronic configuration. If you take nitrogen, for example, atomic number is 7. So, how will you write the electronic configuration in the case of nitrogen? 1s2, 2s2. P orbital has, P sub level has 3 orbitals. So, therefore, 2p x1, 2p y1, 2p z1. So, you can see that half field electronic configuration is there in the nitrogen. That's why nitrogen electronic configuration is said to be more stable. So, the, like this, we can analyze the configuration for various elements in the form of half field electronic configuration and completely field electronic configuration. Similarly, if you go for Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity, Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity if you take so what is what is the Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity says pairing of electrons in a given set of orbitals degenerate orbitals which have equal energy the pairing of electrons does not take place until and unless the electrons are filled with single distribution first that means the electron should be singly distributed first then only the pairing will start that too this is more favorable in the case of degenerate orbitals so suppose for example if you want to understand first let me give you the main key point of the console as already i told you pairing of electrons pairing of pairing of electrons in orbitals occurs only after single distribution in to various orbitals suppose for example i am taking here i am you can take as many number of examples as possible example 1 you can take oxygen whose atomic number is 8 write the electronic configuration that is 1s2 2s2 2p x2 2p y1 and 2p z1 is the actual electronic configuration of the oxygen but here what is happening is if but here what is happening is if you apply the box method of nlx method of the writing the electronic configuration for the elements if you take each orbital is represented by a rectangular box so 1s 1s orbital is given by one rectangular box 2s is given by one re rectangular box and uh, 2p sub level has three orbitals three orbitals that is 2p sub level has three orbitals that is 2px i mean px py and pz this is 2s orbital and this is 1s orbital it has it has two electrons 1s orbital has two electrons so these two electrons they should also satisfy the Pauli's exclusion principle what the Pauli's exclusion principle says is every atomic orbital can accommodate a maximum of two electrons and these two electrons in a given orbital should always have the two opposite spins so for example if you take 1s orbital it has two electrons so these two electrons must have opposite spin satisfying the Pauli's exclusion principle it should, it should obey the Pauli's exclusion principle for a given orbital so for a given orbital if two electrons are there one electron goes in the clockwise spin and another electron goes in the anti-clockwise spin clockwise spin is shown with an upward arrow and the anti-clockwise spin is shown in the downward arrow likewise if you go for 2s atomic orbital again one electron in clockwise and another electron in anti-clockwise now if you go for uh, degenerate orbitals if you take this p orbital if you take this p sub level it has three orbitals all three orbitals belong to the same sub level of p orbital it is a degenerate orbital Hund's rule the Hund's rule clarity is more obvious in uh, the degenerate orbitals of a particular sub level so in this particular degenerate orbital right, right now you are able to find total four electrons two plus one plus one so these four electrons must obey Hund's rule if it is obeying Hund's rule then the distribution goes like this first you have to distribute single pairing single distribution of electrons takes place then now right now already you can find 2 plus 2 4 electrons are there 4 5 6 7 but the atomic number of oxygen is 8 so one more electron you are supposed to fill up in the px orbital with the anti-clockwise spin so if the configuration is like this that means it is obeying the Hunt's rule it is obeying the Hunt's rule and it is also obeying the 
police exclusion principle suppose for example sometimes if if the electronic configuration of auction is not obeying the hunt rule and police exclusion principle then the configuration may also look like this 1s opposite spin 2 electrons 2s opposite spin 2 electrons maybe if you are showing it like this px py and pz suppose if you are showing it like this say 1 2 3 and 4 it is obeying the it is obeying the police exclusion principle but it is not obeying the hunt rule so this method of writing the electronic configuration is wrong but this method of writing the electronic configuration is correct similarly even if you show the configuration like this also 1s atomic orbital with 2 electrons 2s atomic orbital with the 2 electrons with two opposite spins sometimes even if you show like this also 1 2 3 this is going according to the hunt rule and if the fourth electron also if you are showing it like this and say this the that means 2 plus 2 4 5 6 7 5 6 6th electron also if it is going in the clockwise then here what is happening it is maybe it is following the hunt rule but it is not following the police exclusion principle it is violating here in this configuration in this configuration violation of violation of police police principle in this it is violating violation of hunt rule in this obeying obeying all three rules all three rules what are those three rules of bus principle hunt rule of maximum multiplicity and the polys exclusion principle so in this way we can write the electronic configuration for various elements which you are prescribed for or when writing the electronic configuration for various elements you should follow all the three important rules that is half bus principle hunt rule of maximum multiplicity and also the polys exclusion principle cut